Hello, beautiful souls. Today, we will explore the profound interplay between the divine feminine and masculine energies within us, and how balancing these energies can help us reach our highest potential. Dolores Cannon's work has shown us that understanding and harmonizing these energies is crucial not only for our personal growth, but also for the well-being of our societies. Every one of us embodies both feminine and masculine energies, each playing a divine role in helping us reach our highest potential. However, when these energies are imbalanced within us, it can lead to inner conflict, decision-making difficulties, and spiritual and emotional crises. This imbalance is not only personal, but can also manifest on a larger scale, affecting cultures and societies, resulting in power struggles, conflict, and other signs of energy misalignment. The good news is that by understanding and balancing these energies, we can unlock our full potential for growth and empowerment. Let me know in the comments, what is your understanding of the balance between the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine? I absolutely adore connecting with each of you and your beautiful energy down in the comments. So thank you to all of you who share your insights, thoughts and stories with me here. As Dolores Cannon often emphasized, we are not just physical beings having a spiritual experience, but spiritual beings having a physical experience. This profound truth reminds us that our inner energies profoundly shape our outer realities. So how do the divine feminine and divine masculine energies influence our inner lives, and what roles do they play? The masculine energy is outward-focused, characterized by decisive, positive action, security, strength, and generosity. In contrast, the feminine energy is inward-focused, nurturing, assuring, and receptive. Beyond logic and reason, the divine masculine embodies firmness, survival, loyalty, adventurousness, and strength. Meanwhile, the divine feminine is marked by intuition, nurturing, healing, gentleness, expression, wisdom, patience, emotions, and flexibility. A renowned soul coach says, balance is not something you find, it's something you create. This balance is essential in our daily lives and within our bodies. The left side of the brain, associated with logic and analysis, governs language and reasoning, representing masculine energy. Conversely, the right side of the brain, linked to creativity and spirituality, governs emotions and is associated with feminine energy. The Divine Feminine allows us to simply be. It is powerful, loving and caring and fosters faith, trust, intuition and deep inner knowing. This energy helps us take our time to observe and feel wisdom, love and freedom from within. The Divine Feminine is magnetic, attracting everything she desires by realizing that it already belongs to her, enabling her to manifest dreams effortlessly. It's a reminder that we all have this intuitive wisdom within us, waiting to be tapped into. In contrast, the wounded feminine, an energy suppressed or traumatized, displays neediness and desperation. On the other hand, the divine masculine empowers us to take decisive action in a manner that is open, loving, and faith-based, rather than aggressive or angry. For the masculine to harness the intuitive wisdom of the Divine Feminine, he must receive it openly and act on it with confidence, rooted in the understanding that we are part of something greater than ourselves. The Divine Masculine is concerned with protecting and providing for his community, family, and those in need. When fear overrides faith, the wounded masculine distorts this energy creating conflict and a need to prove his worth from a place of feeling excluded or unloved. Today, there is a noticeable imbalance between male and female energies in our society. Particularly in the Western world, there is an overemphasis on masculine energy, 
without sufficient feminine energy to balance it, we experience the consequences of wounded masculinity, such as conflicts, violence, and unhealthy competition. It's crucial for us to be aware of this imbalance and take responsibility for incorporating more feminine power into our lives and communities. This shift can alleviate the current dynamics that dominate global interactions and personal relationships where a codependent, wounded masculine often clashes with a needy, wounded feminine. As Rumi beautifully said, the wound is the place where the light enters you. By each of us striving to heal our own wounds and traumatic experiences and integrating these energies into a balanced state, we can fully step into our power. This balance allows us to lead a life filled with love and bring that love into the world. Dolores Cannon's regression work has shown us that this balance is essential not just for personal harmony, but also for humanity's collective ascension. When we balance our inner energies, we contribute to the greater good, creating a ripple effect that can transform the world. Thank you for joining me on this exploration. Your journey, unique and valuable, is an integral part of the universe's plan. Until next time, keep seeking, keep growing, and keep loving. Remember, the universe always has a plan for you, and your twin flame journey is a beautiful part of it. May your journey be filled with light, love, and divine blessings. If you resonate with the energy here, please subscribe to our channel. I'm sending you all so much love today. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I look forward to connecting with you in the next video.